Hello and welcome to 3dparadise.com. In this tutorial, I will show you how to make a few simple pistons. We are starting by making a box right here. Now you'll see what it is in a few seconds. And we're gonna make a cylinder. There. This is gonna be our lower part of the cylinder, or the piston. And we're then gonna use the align tool to align to the box and we're going to use all positions and pivot point to pivot point. We're then going to click OK and to get a wide cylinder up on top of this uh, which will make the piston work we will uh, make this cylinder an edible poly like that. Choose polygon and select the top part. We're then going to do a bevel, height of zero, zero. Oh, damn it. like that, and make it slightly wider, maybe one. And then we're going to do an extrude to make the other part, and this is roughly the same height. And um, now we actually got the piston itself, but we need this box in the bottom to be on the top as well, so we're selecting the box, and we're gonna clone it. Clone, and just make it a copy. You can see now we have a new box, and I want to place this on top of this, but I also want this to be centered. So what we'll do is... Um, we are going to set the align tool to this and then we are only going to modify the C position so uncheck these the maximum and minimum is uh, locations on this uh, object here we are aligning to minimum is right down here and the maximum is, uh, is the top polygon here so you can see if I set to maximum then it's going to appear up here and we're gonna click OK. But I actually made a little mistake here now, so you can see that it's right on top of this, and uh, this is not. So Control C. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna take this, go to our hierarchy, select pivot, pivot, affect pivot only, and center it to this box as well. And we're gonna need that because we want the was to be centered here. <coughs> so leave that. And then we're gonna use the align tool again. And now you can see it got moved a little further down, so click OK again. Now you can see it's now completely centered. So <coughs> you may think now uh, how do I move the upper part over the other part because this is one object as you see and then um, that's quite simple um, just gonna select these polygons here like that and we're gonna detach this from the bottom part down here so actually we'll detach the lower part like that it's gonna be easier <laughs> Detach object one, click OK. So now we have bottom part, upper part. Then we're gonna exit this, and just so you can see, we're gonna link these, and we're gonna link this one to the bottom or top, and the lower part to the lower box. So now, if I select this one and move it, you can see goes inside. So, But this is not very a long piston. Uh, there's other ways where you can make it like that, for example, where the piston is already inside. I will show you that here in a second. So, but this is actually the basics of a piston. Um, for rigging them, I will make a tutorial uh, in the rigging section, which you can watch later. Now, I will show you another method of uh, making a piston, so that's the way I like to make them. Um, now I, I'm not going to focus on the bottom parts now, 
I'm just gonna make a cylinder like we wanted, like that, and let me go a little higher, like that. And uh, this will be our lower part again. No, actually, this will be our top part. <laughs> I'm gonna make it on with the head upside down. Um, I'm gonna make it edible poly. It's like polygons. And then I'm gonna do a uh, bevel. And uh, this time we're gonna add a little smoothness to it. <laughs> so we can choose one. And uh, yeah, one is fine here as well. Just to get a little edge here at uh, there, the piston so it looks a little smooth. Um, gonna do a bevel again, height of zero, and just a little bit like that. And then <coughs> I'm gonna do an extrude, and this time I'm gonna make it go into the negative. And you can't see it right now. But you will in a second. And like that. And we're gonna put all the way down here. Click OK. And then we do a bevel again. And you can see height, no height. We're gonna make it slightly smaller as uh, we don't want the piston to be completely at the edge inside here as it may look like in reality but we want a little spacing between it like that do another like screw to make this go up and this time get it into the plus side and go a little up here uh, that's a bit too much like that click OK gonna go into smooth highlights again and um, now we have to create a, a piston again. <coughs> but now you're probably thinking again, how do I make this move? So we have polygon selected, so this time we just select all the polygons here. And then we're going to do the same as before. Detach object number one. And leave this. So now when I select this, I can move it up and down, but um, I want this to be smooth, so uh, you can see there's a lot of edges on this, it's not very clean, so I'll go into the modify list and add smooth, Let's see if I can find it, yep, not smooth, and just like that, that should be fine, anyway, Select this button part here and make that smooth as well. Yeah, all smooth and just the same. 2.6. So now I have a smooth piston, which works. Uh, just go to render so you can see. See, it's a little spacing between them makes it look a little better and that's that's it now 